G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and prepare to have your minds blown because mine has been blown. Gosh, I've been educated this week and I have to share it with you. So first of all, a shout out to Robert R. That's his YouTube channel. He hasn't got any videos on it, but the dude is switched on. Robert, thank you because this video is a result of your wisdom, knowledge and insight and research. So it came, a comment was placed by Robert of an issue I was having some time ago doing some star trail shots using the interval timer and I was getting so frustrated and Robert explained it and I thought it's so good and there's so many people that struggle with understanding the interval timer mode on the Nikon Z series that I had to I had to make this video. So here it is, really simple and really straightforward. That an interval, when you use your interval timer on your camera, it operates from when the start of the shot to the start of the next shot. So your interval isn't the interval between shots. It's from the start of the first shot to the start of the second shot, which means you need to, in that interval, allow for your uh, exposure. And so let's say your exposure is... 15 seconds you need to allow for 15 seconds except and this is where your mind is going to be blown have you you ever shot a 15 second exposure on long exposure and timed it because i did and 15 seconds isn't 15 seconds it's 16 seconds and 30 seconds is not 30 seconds it's 32 seconds so they just put it in to be nice or maybe they did a thousand years ago so your 30 second shutter, folks, is not 30 seconds, it's 32 seconds. And that matters when you start interval timing. Because if you put your camera together for 30 seconds, and you put your interval for 30 seconds, your interval is going to finish before your exposure finishes and your camera's not going to know what to do, which is why you, like me, have been frustrated. The interval timer doesn't work. It gives you about 150 shots, no matter how many you put on it. So this is how you solve the problem. You need to calculate for your exposure time. So let's say 30 seconds. But we know 30 seconds is actually 30 two seconds and now we need so we need an interval between one shot and the next of 32 seconds but we need a second for your camera to catch up and go all right i've taken that shot gonna take another shot and so we actually need an interval of 33 seconds from when you first press this now you'll notice on your interval timer that it has the amount of shots you can choose to take and then it says times one up to nine now that's one two up to nine of the same shot so it gives you, it takes, say you have 20 by 2, that takes 20 intervals and two shots at every interval of the same photo. So you can put the multiply by digit, you can put that to 1, and then you can expand the other, providing your interval time is allowing for the full exposure, the accurate exposure, and the buffer of the camera doing its work. And once you press select and you go go and it says preparing, it takes two seconds for the camera to go, all right, let's go, and you're away. Well, I hope that has blown your mind and changed your world like it has mine. And if you had no idea that 30 second exposures were 32 seconds, own up. Be with me. Don't make me feel like a fool all by myself. Put it in the expo in the in the exposure below, in the comments below. Give this video a subscribe because there's more helpful tips like it concerning photography and videography. Uh, give me the thumbs up. It gives you, costs you nothing. Just whack that button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.